Back. Students at Ray High School's high level math program were getting some hands on cyber training today. It's all part of a National Science Foundation grant in a partnership between Ray, Purdue and UT Arlington. The students were gathering online data and analyzing it so that they could predict future climate change. Our Michael Gibson was there as students are preparing to help solve one of our planet's biggest issues. See, uh, there are two options. Adnan Rajib is an assistant professor of engineering at the University of Texas at Arlington. He and his research assistant, Desiree Silvis, are here at Ray High School showing these students how to use modern technology to help solve flooding, drought, and other growing climate problems. We are here today to train these students how to access NASA satellites, NOAA databases, uh, using cloud computing and computer programming. These juniors and seniors are all part of the high-level math program and certainly seem to fully understand the concepts of blending science, math, and AI to solve environmental issues. One thing that I thought was very cool was how it was mentioned that AI could be used to do this. Because um, we all know that AI, like artificial intelligence, doesn't really exist yet. What we have is algorithmic data and the way that we draw from it. So really, we're just learning how to use that algorithmic data to draw from a data set and make conclusions based off of a prompt. So I think it's a really good idea to have everyone be trained in this sort of thing. Aiden Armenia is a senior here at the high school and was excited about this training because he plans on putting it to good use in the future. For me personally, I want to pursue um, political science. I want to become a, a politician. And one of the things that I truly really care about is um, the climate because it's truly um, an important thing that we should always focus on. Um, and with this, they're teaching us about how important climate change is. The professor believes that after this training, the students will know how to use the available online data to solve real problems right here. Michael Gibson, 3 News.